hello over there i hope you all are doing well so in this video i'm going to show you that how can you jam a wi-fi network which means that if you run this attack on a wi-fi network then the router will act like that the devices that were connected to the router are not even authenticated like if somebody tries to connect to that wi-fi network uh, the connection will just won't happen it will just disconnect the device automatically from the router i hope you understand so this attack is going to work in uh, Kali Linux, Ubuntu, Debian and the RPM like Red Hat distros. All you need is just the apt get package management and it's going to work in all of these distros. I'm not sure about the Arc Linux and the Minjaro Linux but uh, it's going to work in the most, most of the, these distros. Uh, you, all you have to do is to install the aircrack ng tool and you are good to go with this tutorial so let's start with the first step now the first step is for all of the users that are not using kali linux if you are using kali linux just sit back and watch me do the first step don't do anything all you have to do is to just wait for me to start the second step okay so the first thing in the terminal you have to do is to you have to open uh, open it as root so or to open it as root you have to type su and then you have to type your password i'm sorry i'm using the laptop so i'm sorry if you are gonna hearing the key presses okay so now i am logged in as root i'm doing it because like the air crack ng uh, requires you to type sudo every time you try to run a single command of it so it's better to log in as a root and I'm doing it again to make my terminal look like Kali Linux because um, okay, okay I don't want to explain anything else no now you have to install aircrack ng and the command uh, is apt get so that's pretty much the command to install this uh, air, this tool in almost uh, the Debian Ubuntu uh, and any any Linux distro that supports apt-get package management and let's press enter and wait this thing to load it may ask that if you really want to install the packages and uh, give you an option Y or N all you have to do is to just press enter it's not asking me for confirmation it's just installing directly <coughs> I'm sorry okay now let this thing install Hmm. Okay. Mm, I don't know why it's taking so long but uh, let's just wait for it to install and then we are going to do the we are going to move to our second step hmm. okay so we're done with our installation now I'm going to start the second step now if you are using Kali Linux everybody now have to follow me like what I am doing so the first thing you have to do is to determine what is your Wi-Fi adapter okay so to know what is the, what is your Wi-Fi adapter all you have to do is to type iwconfig okay so here here it shows me three options WLAN 0 LO ETH 0 but this latter one says that no wireless extension and I only have the one WLAN 0 so which simply means that this is my Wi-Fi network now uh, uh, if you type iwconfig it's simple you will see 802.11 or it will show you that which Wi-Fi connection you are connected to so it simply means that this is the name of my Wi-Fi adapter all you have to do is to you can copy this or you can even remember this it's pretty easy to remember because we are going to use the name of our Wi-Fi adapter in almost all of these steps involved in our attack so now what we have to do is to put our Wi-Fi adapter into monitor mode okay so uh, the command is here 
Okay, I arm one. Arm on NG. Start. WLAN zero. Oh. Wait, what? Oh shit. Sorry, sorry, guys. Oh. Oh yeah, this is the right command. Okay, now it is giving me an error. Like. Uh, it's giving me an error so now I have to put this command it says failed it cannot put the put my put my Wi-Fi adapter into monitor mode because uh, like some services are still running that are interrupting our process so let's run this command I copied from here okay now let's run again the airmon ng star wlan 0 okay I hope it's going to work for sure okay now i have to type iwconfig again to check that if my wi-fi adapter has been into monitor mode or not iwconfig okay now you can see <coughs> sorry previously my wi-fi network was wlan 0 which was a normal wi-fi adapter oh i don't know adapter interface okay now here is the increment of mon at the end of the network name now we are going to use this in almost all of our attacks okay <coughs> now what we have to do we have to do collect the wi-fi dump i mean dump is something like information of what wi-fi network you are running their ssids their channels things like this okay the command is simple okay I error jump ng <coughs> okay <coughs> I'm sorry okay and the command is simple error dump ng and then the name of your monitored Wi-Fi interface okay now let's enter okay now it's collecting the dump let me add uh, let me open my text editor you can use almost any text editor we are just going to um, put things like MAC address etc here okay now it the this is still running and we cannot type anything here now what you have to do you have to press the control and the c control c it is not the copy button control c means it aborts the process now everything has been stopped and i am able to run the command again now this is the wi-fi network that i'm going to take so there are mainly two things that i need from this wi-fi network the first one is bssid let me copy this to my text editor and the second thing is the channel this is the ch i have to copy the channel so this wi-fi network is running the channel one i don't think that i even have to copy this one but let me do it i can remember one okay now what now we have to do one thing we have to change the channel of our wi-fi adapter into the same as this wi-fi network i'm sorry if the process looks complicated but all of these steps are necessary so to change the channel of our wi-fi adapter to this one here is the command i hope this is the command oh wait oh no not volan zero it's uh, mon oh, okay now we are fine so ignore ignore this step this is not right this is the right command okay now our channel is changed now this is the last last command you have to run and the your attack will run successfully as far as i hope if you do all these steps correctly your attack will run and it will show you that uh, the attack is running okay so here is the command i'm going to show you first you have to type a replay ng airy play ng okay now the second thing you have to type is to type d auth these are two minus signs hyphens like whatever you say d e a u t h okay d auth now you have to type for how long you want to keep this wi-fi under attack i feel 2000 seconds is a good number okay 2000 seconds now the second thing I have to type here is minus a and then now I have to type this this is the make address we copied from here this one let's let's paste it here and now the last thing I have to is uh, they put my Wi-Fi interface name here WLAN 0 MON
Now let's hit enter and as far as I hope, yo it's successfully working, it's like it's telling me that sending the auth code to this uh, Wi-Fi router, it's successfully working and as far as I hope the person the I attack won't be able to use the Wi-Fi network on their devices. Okay, so that was pretty much it. I hope uh, you find the video useful. So bye bye guys.